RSV is the number one cause for hospitalizations in infants. So if you have a young child or an infant, you need to listen up because RSV season is here and here is everything that you need to know what it is, why it's so dangerous, what you can do about it at home, and when you need to take your child in to be seen from a pediatric RN in less than three minutes. Make sure that you save this so that when unfortunately RSV hits your house, you can easily reference it. So number one, what is RSV? It's a respiratory virus. It's a fancy way of saying it's a common virus that causes cold-like symptoms. In older kids and adults, this just looks like a really bad cold. But here's why it's so dangerous for our infants. It creates a lot of really thick mucus that can block their tiny airways. This causes increased work of breathing and if they have increased work of breathing then they're going to get really tired and if they're really tired they're not going to want to feed and this can in severe cases lead to dehydration so this is why they get hospitalized difficulty breathing and dehydration so before rsv hits your house you need to talk to your doctor about the monoclonal antibody for RSV. A study just came out in September that showed that it decreased hospitalizations for RSV by 80% in the infants that received it. So do not sleep on this. Talk to your doctor about it. Now, if RSV hits your house, here's when you need to take your child in to be seen right away. If they have any increased work of breathing, so what I mean by that is nostrils are flaring, they have rapid breathing, it's really noisy, like wheezing or grunting. You notice that they're belly breathing or they have retractions, which is when the skin is pulling really tight around the rib cage. So you can see the individual ribs or see the bottom of the ribs, then they need to be seen right away. If they are really fussy or opposite, they're sleeping a lot more than normal. They're not waking up appropriately for you. They aren't feeding as much as normal or they have decreased wet diapers. And of course they need to be seen immediately if you notice any bluish or grayish tint around their lips or their face or their fingertips. Now, when can you treat this at home? If they have snot that you're able to clear easily with a saline, with a little bit of saline and a suction. They may have a low grade fever. They may have a mild cough, but they don't have any increased work of breathing and they are otherwise happy eating, waking up for you appropriately. Then make sure that you read the captions so that you know what to do for them at home. And again, make sure, don't forget to save this so that you can have it when you need it.